guys, how you doing? It's Jap as a flash. Welcome to BRS round seven. We are at Imola. So, welcome guys, welcome, welcome. This is my fastest uh, Q3 lap. I did go out in uh, the at the start of Q3 and uh, try and set a fastest lap on a set of scrub tires, however, invalidated. So I came back in, waited for the clock to tip down, went back out and set a uh, fastest lap on a scrub set. There is no point me, um, you know, going for it and, and, and then coming back in and then going back out again because I didn't think that I would improve that much, you know, that the track doesn't rubber in that much in two minutes, really doesn't. Um, I was happy with my lap, I was really happy with my lap, in fact. Um, wasn't bad, wasn't bad at all. Like set the one was purple. I don't I don't think that was overall purple for the lap. Well I know it was an overall purple for the lap because Splitter had set a fifteen four and then I had a purple set of two. Again, that wasn't um overall purple. I think that then purples were just my purples, you know, it was my fastest lap. Um but coming round the, the final corner and then I took the set of three a little bit too tentative. She could have found a tenth or two there but cross the line for p4 um starting on the grid p5 we got five lights we are away as you can see two cars jumped the start um which was bizarre uh i had a bit of a an awful start well i had, I had a really good start on on bleep however bleep here uh forces me off um and then yeah he forces me off and then obviously you take the wrong line into the turn two and that allows L and Bleep to get back in front of me um, which it is what it is I'm currently down in P7 I uh, felt really good about this race though felt really good had a really good setup was able to really nail um, the double right hander uh, <coughs> sorry the names of, of corners um, negate me uh, as you can see, I picked up a warning there, right? And then one of it wide and picked up another warning there. So that's two warnings within half a lap. However, I then, I felt like I had understeer. Um, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't know if I had damaged from going over those big sausage curves. So, right now, I'm happy. <clears throat> I'm happy, happy, happy. I, like I said, I know the setup is okay. Later on, uh, when I switch to the mediums, I do change the wing up one um felt as if i needed a little bit more uh turning especially on the medium tires but it felt really good really happy with the car really um as you can see it was really good in a straight line i was able to stick with um bleep and now i was just waiting for drs drs around him and i was so powerful it is really powerful um Good thing is as well, I can save fuel. Oh, I don't seem to spend any fuel at Imola. So I put in half a tank of fuel and was just rocking it. Just really was going for it. Um, with what happened on that one in the first two turns, uh, it seemed the cars in front seemed to have checked out a little bit. Um, that's with us battling. But we get a VSC straight away. Unfortunately, it was my teammate, um, Rue in uh, the other Alpine. But yeah, virtual safety cards ending, then we getting going again and looking, everything's looking good. Um, well within DRS. DRS will be activated next lap. Uh, Bleep and L are trying to use all their DRS to, to get out of it. And I know for a fact, if I don't make this DRS, I'm getting swallowed by the cars behind. That is how powerful DRS is around here. Um, you can overtake in other parts of the circuit, but the main part to do it is uh, the DRS. Um, but yeah, like I said, was happy with qualifying. Um, first time, first race in eight in seven or eight races that I've been really happy with my qualifying. Um, I was happy with it. And yeah, first three laps of this race are going absolutely swimmingly. Not thinking too far ahead, but I was just making sure that um, I started on 3% worn tires. Uh, a little bit of a wiggle there, which uh, threw me a little bit. So yeah, I started on 3% uh, worn tires. 
and I needed yeah. to make sure I got those tyres to lap 11, lap 12 in order for me to go into the mediums to do the one stop. Um, but at that point, uh, that's as far as I was thinking, I wasn't thinking any further. Uh, but yeah, really, really happy with what's going on. Um, going on behind me, going on in front of me. As you can see, I'm still in the DRS um, as Night Owl behind me. I knew Night Owl was on the button, constantly on the button, uh, just how fast he was. Um, and just catching and everything as well. Um, but yeah, constantly on the button, and you can tell that just by how much he's caught up in the last few laps. But like I said, right now, I'm just focusing on what is in front of me, not what's behind me. Um, we'll both get a DRS next lap anyway, which will be good. So yeah, so one step at a time, one lap at a time, and it is what it is. So, I want to talk to you about last week's race, um, or the race that was posted uh, two days ago. Um, it was BRS Mexico round six. I was racing as a reserve in Series 2. So, the stewards deemed that the incident on lap 34 and lap 36 um, warranted uh, a qualifying ban. Um, so yeah, I was taken out of that race um, and yeah, and they say lightning done strike twice. <laughs> watch until this end, watch watch until the end and you'll see what happens. Um, and for those of you who said that I had plenty of time to react, I absolutely did not, absolutely did not have enough time to react at all. Um, especially when I was looking down at my MFD. Um, and then I lock up and then it happened. So, mm -hmm. all jokes aside, it was unintentional. Um, there's, there's a difference between intent and, and, and non-intent. Um, last week's uh, takeout w was, in my opinion, intentional. 100% um, intentional uh, at Mexico. Um, the, the guy knew what he was doing. He knew exactly what he was doing as bleep had a little wiggle there which was fantastic for me because that enabled me to get back in his DRS as I was about two tenths out of the DRS. Um, I messed up a little bit in the chicane there but I wanted to make sure that I took it perfectly every time as I did not want to get those three seconds uh, of penalties uh, especially having two warnings in the first lap which is a bit stupid really. But I'm in the DRS of bloop <clears throat> of bleep, sorry. Uh, nothing I can do about Rui. He seems to have been running a lower downforce than me, um, but bleep blocks me off. Um, then allows Night Out to get past. He runs deep, um, which I managed to get him on the next corner. Um, so I'm going to use Night Owl now to pull me along. Hopefully, he'll pull me along into um, the pack of cars in front. That was the plan anyway. Um, plans change. And yeah, you, you'll see what happens um, in the next few laps, which really, really annoyed me because it allowed the cars in front to check out and it left me where it was. And I think when it happens, I, I'll talk about it more, but I think this ought to really be, need to be looked at because this is a circuit that... The DRS is so powerful around here. If you're out of the DRS, you were just a sitting deck for all the other cars behind. And when something happens um, and you get taken out of the DRS through no fault of your own, uh, just when you were trying to... Um, yeah, when, when you're trying to race, as you can see, look how strong it is. Look how strong that DRS is. That's me up in the P3 because Night Owl was a sitting deck. And that is what happens. So I'm going to kind of work with Night Owl here. And try and pull him along. So you can see the guys in front iron just split a 4.1. And that's simply because of all the battling that's been happening behind. Um, there is no way, uh, even I don't think even with a full battery, uh, you can pull out of the DRS. You can see Night Owl's 4.4 tenths behind. Um, even if I had a full battery, 
and blitzed it all, I wouldn't be able to get out of the DRS unless he had an issue going into the double right-hander, which he doesn't. So fair play to him. Um, it was really good though, really, really good racing um, at the at the most part. As you can see, the, the setup, even though Jeff tells me about tire grip, the setup it, it feels awesome. Like I said, I felt really, really strong and comfortable about this race. I need to be about um, eight tenths in front of Night Owl to withstand a chance of uh, going in ahead at turn one. There's no way that's going to happen. So, so yeah, I am just vibing and accepting my fate. But we'll keep leapfrogging. <coughs> we'll keep going. Um, obviously, bleep is going down the inside, and this is what happens completely misses his DRS then fair play to him he pulls over allows me to go past but by this point I'm already 1.8 behind Night Owl nearly two seconds behind him and I've got no ERS got no ERS so that effectively now give Night Owl all the breathing space he needs he is then gonna just continue on all because um, Bleep did what he did Missed his break point, nearly took me out, whatever. Um, I think going forward, especially at circuits like this, um, it needs to be looked at. It really does. I was comfortable behind Night Owl, um, and now I'm not. So now, um, yeah, it, it is what it is. It's so frustrating, man. It's so frustrating. Night Owl now is going to drain all his battery to get past. There you go, L comes past me, there's nothing I can do, he's got DRS. Here comes Bleep, Bleep is coming by me. He's got DRS, what have I got? Nothing, all because of almost get, nearly getting taken out at um, the last lap. Okay, I've got a breathing space behind me, but that's besides the point, it's, it's so frustrating. Through one driver's error, I am two to three, to nearly four tenths down the road uh, or behind where I should be. Um, it's just so, so annoying. So, so annoying. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to stick with these guys to try and get pulled along. But yeah, going back to what I said about intent and non-intent. So yeah, at Mexico last week, um, I believe I was intent Taken out, um, and yeah, there's not, not nobody going to be able to to change my mind uh, about that. Um, there really isn't. This week, um, it was non-intentional. A car lost it on uh, the exit of the chicane, and that was it. It was all she wrote. Um, I blame Codemasters just as much um, as I do as anything else because um, when a car spins or when a car goes to spin it should ghost automatically if a car was lapped and spun it would it would obviously be ghosted because it's lapped so the game should be that aware that if a car was to start to spin or lose traction it should instantly ghost um, this or that doesn't happen in esports. So why is it happening to everybody that league races? It's just absolutely rubbish. It really, really is. Um, as I said, I was really, really enjoying this race. I thought this was a race where I was going to get my first points of the season. Um, but it was never meant to be. Just like last week. I was on for a P7 um, in Series 2, which obviously they're the faster tier. I genuinely think I could have finished fourth, um, maybe even at a podium. And that's not me blowing my own trumpet. That's me from feel, you know, having the pace, having really good pace, having a really good setup. And as you'll see later on, everybody around me um, still had penalties. Uh, yes, there was a long way to go, but I was making sure that every corner I went into, I was hitting that apex um, perfectly, um, or even if I couldn't hit it perfectly, 
uh, I was making sure that every time uh, I went into a corner, I was making sure that I was come, I would come out of it okay. Um, but yeah, I generally felt I could have finished here, uh, P, where I am now currently in P4. Yes, there was a long way to go uh, at the race, but that's where I feel. Um, everything around me was looking okay, it was looking really good. Um, two cars behind me are on mediums, they're on, they're on better tyres than I am, obviously, you can see minus 60%. And yeah, that's where it is. Guys, I'm going to leave you with the rest of the race as this safety car comes out. Unboxing for fresh mediums. It is lap 11, but by the time the safety car gets going again, it's lap 14. And that will help massively. Guys, take care. Remember to do all that good stuff like hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, CD. Don't worry about it. It happens. And I'll catch you in the next one. Watch out, because Night Owl trying to go through Jake, but he can't, and then he, he just breaks yeah. on. He's got to take him in the test car. Can I get slipstream on a ghost car? Yeah, I'm right behind you, I watched it. Sorry, I'll. Yeah, you looked really slow for a second, so I went for it, and then... The gap behind us is 1.5 seconds. Just get out. Ellie, you said your wings busted? Oh, don't blow the button yet. That's, yeah, that's exactly why. I can't even tell what's going on. Oh, there, is L skipping around in yours too, or is this just me? Stock seat behind me, L. And he's on stops, L. Oh, God. I overshot it. I overshot. Unintentional. I know. That lock has scared me off. Not yet. I mean, I guess I don't know where, but... We'll switch it out next lap anyway, so you have DRS. Because we gotta catch these guys. Yeah, we're falling behind, we gotta go. No, I haven't, definitely not. Yeah. This old name. It's okay. Stay behind me. We're gonna form this train back up. That's okay. We're gaining up.
Yeah, no worries. I'm gonna stay with you, but I'm not gonna. Uh -oh. Well, I'm blowing the button, let's go. Yeah, get as close as you can, because we'll have to swap up to even catch these guys. You are, but it's okay, I don't have it, so you've got to catch it up. What do you have for energy? Oh, okay, if you're under 10%, just keep it on. I'm still trying to find it myself. A lot of penalties up there. I'm gonna have to pit again still. There goes Adel, spun around. Double right. What do you think? Do we hold out as long as possible for the safety car?
How long do we stay up for? Twenty. No, I can't. I have to hit. Because I need enough time to catch up to. I was thinking of doing it with nine left. Yeah. So am I. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jeff. Send that in. Honestly. I was trying to correct the car and I lost it. What do you mean?